Got a chance to see House of the Dragon Season 2, Episode 3. Let's talk about it right now. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Thank you for spending time with me as we chat about movies, comic books, and television shows and the occasional board game. I am your host, Frank Zenka. I am an award-winning screenwriter, novelist, and comic book writer. And, uh, yeah, working filmmaker as well. Uh, I had some really good meetings. I'm, uh, I'm very excited uh, about what's going to... Uh, what this next year might be looking like. So we just got to get through this next strike uh, coming at the end of August or beginning of August, I should say, end of July. We will know one way or the other at the end of July. So let's uh, keep our fingers crossed that this does not happen and then the floodgates will open for additional stuff. But anyway, let's talk about the newest episode for House of the Dragon. That's like Old Feuds and Bad Blood or something to that effect. I think the name of it is. And this one uh, was directed by Gita Patel. I don't think it was directed as well as the last episode, even though that, uh, you know, they're a little bit, uh, I, I don't know, it's, they've been kind of slow, but I think this one was particularly slow. Uh, she also directed Ahsoka, and that should tell you something. Uh, so, you know, she doesn't have a good track record as far as I'm concerned uh, for, you know, having stuff move because Ahsoka was very slow too. Uh, but the, not a whole lot happened in this episode. We learned very little. Uh, you know, Rhaenyra's is basically sending her, you know, her children away. And, you know, Aegon is continually to piss everybody off. <laughs> I think he's getting worse. Uh, hiring Cole was probably not the best idea, and now he uh, now he's even invading uh, Aemon's uh, bedroom. You know, I guess uh, the very first woman that he slept with that was a uh, a prostitute. You know, I guess he continued to be with her, and uh, Aegon wanted made sure that uh, that he made fun of him for that. So. Again, not a whole lot happened. Uh, you know, there wasn't uh, a whole lot of romance here or anything to that effect. And Damon kind of went on if it was on his own to, uh, you know, take over uh, Harren Hall. And that was kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> he hit one guy in the head and walk in and the guy just dropped to his knees for him. <laughs> that was the extent of his invasion. <laughs> Uh, I think the most exciting thing that happened was that, uh, you know, one of the girls, the chased, uh, Cole and his guys into, uh, the forest. And I think that the guy who's playing, uh, Olivia Cook's brother, I, I have to look him up. I think he's the same guy, uh, from the great, I could be wrong, but let me know if I am. Uh, but anyway, he's, uh. I guess he's kind of a not really a warrior type, <laughs> and he's kind of hanging out with them. And uh, yeah, we're not going to a hotel. He pretty much said we're gonna we're gonna be camping. Get over it. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, Renera has decided that uh, she is going to take a risk and go see Allison on her turf. And while she's praying. So I guess it's a given that, you know, she goes and prays at a certain time. I'm surprised they would let anyone in there that wasn't royalty. I find that very hard to believe. But uh, but anyway, that's the, the plot they used. That's the plot armor that they used for this. And Rhaenyras was, you know, dressed as almost like a nun type of situation in robes. Walks in and goes right next to her and has a knife on her on top of that. Her uh, her security sucks. <laughs> Again, I find all that very, very hard to believe. She is the queen mother and... Uh, not Rene Renera, it's Renera. And uh, so she is the, the queen mother and people could just... Anybody, like a peasant could literally just... Especially when the child was just killed. 
I don't know, man. I thought I, I found that really, really hard to believe. But anyway, the whole thing out of that was that they were able to chat. And at this point in time, I thought that Alicent was lying this entire time about what she was told by the king. Uh, and that Aegon should be king, uh, be the successor. But apparently she wasn't lying, but she took it the wrong way because I guess there was Aegon in the Song of Ice and Fire, which was a story that the king constantly told, and it was a line out of that story. And Rhaenyra's like, yeah, that's... <laughs> He was just quoting a story for you, man. He wasn't saying that your kid should be taking over as king. And Olivia Cook's, uh, Allison's like, oops. <laughs> and she's just like, oh, it's too late now, man. I can't do nothing about it. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, that and, you know, them chasing them into the forest with the dragon... Those are the best two parts of the whole show. Otherwise, I could have just thrown this show, this, this whole episode away. There's, it's so, it's such a filler episode. I don't know. I don't know why uh, it's written this way. There is literally nothing, nothing happening. So it starts out with uh, a tiff between two neighboring kingdoms that I guess are on different sides of this conflict. And that turns into a major war that everybody dies. <laughs> and Aegon's like, oh well. <laughs> I guess we won. <laughs> so anyway, I uh, again, I, I don't know. that You know, two or three scenes out of here were important and that's it. I don't know. Uh, kind of a waste, I, I, I kind of felt with this one. I hope the next uh, the next one kind of catapults it a little bit faster. Uh, anyway, let me know what you guys think. Uh, did you love it? Did you agree that it was kind of a kind of a really slow burn on this one? And uh, everybody hoping to keep our fingers crossed that we get a, a little bit of a faster pace to the next episode. Anyway, uh, thank you for spending time with me again. Remember to give me a like, give me that thumbs up. Uh, and, uh, if you can't subscribe, please do ring that bell ding ding and check out some of my other videos as well. Uh, that'll pop up here at the end. Thanks again, guys. And you guys have an awesome night.